Hello class. Today we will discuss about the physical stability of suspension. So what is physical stability of suspension? Physical stability is nothing but the solid particles which is present in the suspension as a dispersed particle has to get uniformly dispersed throughout the dispersion medium that is water. This is called it as a physical physically stable suspension but it is difficult to achieve a uniform dispersibility of solid particles in the suspension. So the definition has been again reconstructed as if the sedimentation of solid dispersed particle, if the sedimentation of solid particles takes place in the dispersion medium but it has to redisperse with a little agitation with a little agitation is the new constructed definition sedimentation matlab settling of particles will take place but redispersibility should be instant if we are applying a little bit pressure or little bit stress if we are applying it has to get uniformly redispersed so this is about the physical stability of suspension here quantitatively the physical stability of suspension can be measured by three parameters one parameter is called as sedimentation volume sedimentation volume and the second parameter is the degree of flocculation the third parameter is redispersibility redispersibility so these are the three parameters by it is quantitative measures it is a quantitative measurement of physical stability of suspension in the form of measuring of sedimentation volume degree of flocculation and redispersibility here again in one by considering one more formula also we can prepare a or we can evaluate the physical stability of suspension that is by using Stokes law redispersibility or rate of sedimentation is equals to d square rho rho naught divided by 18 eta naught g that is rate of sedimentation is equals to diameter of the dispersed particle with that of the density of the dispersed particle minus density of the dispersion medium and density of the sorry viscosity of the dispersion medium g is the acceleration due to gravity but if you had to evaluate by considering stokes law the physical stability it will take maximum time as we have 1, 2, 3, 4, totally 4 parameters we have to consider. So in spite of using Stokes law for evaluation of suspension, here we are using quantitative measurements of physical stability of suspension by using sedimentation volume, degree of flocculation and rate of or redispersibility of a suspension. One by one I will explain here what are those First, sedimentation volume. This sedimentation volume usually we will designate or depict by F, capital F, sedimentation volume. This I explain like, say for example, this is one container in which we are having a suspension. Say for example, 100 ml and this is 0 ml. So, This is the suspension one and one more suspension we are having again it is 100 ml here this is 0 ml Then the third one we are having this is 0, this is 
this is 100 ml so here this is flocculated suspension in which here we have to consider the sediment volume here we have to consider the sediment volume sediment volume if greater the sediment volume higher the sediment volume sediment volume greater will be the stability of suspension higher the sediment volume greater will be the sediment uh, sorry stability of suspension this is if i have to consider a f value for this flocculated suspension here you can see i have uniformly dispersed the solid particles here the first example i have taken flocculated suspension here to certain degree a cake formation that is sedimentation has been takes place the third example is of a deflocculated suspension if i had to consider the sediment volume sediment volume number the dispersion that is settling of particle or the dispersion of solid particle is throughout the suspension so here i write one and this here the settling of particles has been takes place up to 60 ml then later on i have a supernatated liquid supernatated liquid so here i will consider the f value that is sediment volume as a 0 6 this i have taken example of deflocculated suspension so here you can see the hard cake formation i have shown up to 05 whereas then here and where the particles are flocculated then we are having a cloudy supernatated liquids so here i can say the f value will be around 0.05 or something negligible we can say 0 so now i will tell the formula what is the formula for sedimentation volume f is equals to ultimate volume ultimate volume of sediment ultimate volume of sediment divided by initial volume of the suspension once again i will tell ultimate volume of what sediment ultimate volume of sediment with that of the initial volume initial volume of suspension here i will tell one more example you can see that here the dispersion has been 100 ml first i have prepared the suspension and initial volume of suspension is what 100 i have put 100 divided by later on i have kept suspension for a half an hour or two hours later on i have seen the suspension that's the settling of particles has been taken place up to 60 ml so i write 60 so what will be the f value 100 divided by 60 will be the 06 here we says that the f value which is here in the sedimentation volume this f value is dimensionless that means it doesn't have any unit either in the form of ml or either in the form of grams or nothing it doesn't have any unit this uh, sedimentation volume is dimensionless we doesn't have any units and the value ranges from nearly 0 to 1 nearly 0 to 1 if we have a 0 oh sorry if we have a 1 as a value we will say physically stable suspension we are having but it is very difficult to achieve so we will say as the value of sediment that is sediment volume near to 1 greater will be the stability of the suspension so sometimes in the form of volume also we will calculate the sedimentation volume and even in the form of height say for example i have taken this as a measuring cylinder i told up to the 6 height this much of height 2 cm or 5 cm height the sediment has been takes place in that case this formula can be written as ultimate height of sediment divided by initial height of suspension so usually this sediment volume we will be calculating for flocculated suspension rather than deflocculated suspension and this measure very widely used to check the physical stability of the suspension hope you have understood this the second one is 
degree of flocculation. Now we will see degree of flocculation. Degree of flocculation. And degree of flocculation usually we will represent it by beta. Degree of flocculation we will be representing it by beta. Beta is equals to F divided by F infinity. That is sediment volume of flocculated suspension to that of the sediment volume of sedimentation volume of deflocculated suspension. It is a degree of flocculation is the ratio of sediment volume of flocculated suspension to that of the deflocculated suspension. Again I will explain you. First what we will do here, we will prepare a, this is the measuring cylinder I have taken. First we will prepare a flocculated suspension. What we will do? First we will prepare a flocculated suspension in which the particles, this is the particles, what I will do? Then later on I have kept for few hours, I have prepared the flocculated suspension and this flocculated suspension I have kept aside for 2 hours. Then what will happen? Flocculation will take place. Then later on I will be having a very good supernated layer. The flocculation has been taken place up to say for example 50. Okay. Flocculation takes place. Then what I will do? In the second or third step, I add the deflocculating agent. By the addition of deflocculating agent, that is structured vehicles, I will convert this flocculated suspension into the deflocculated suspension. And we know that in the deflocculated suspension, the sedimentation of particles is very less as it forms the hard cake. So, here it forms the hard cake, then the particles, so this is, so here the sedimentation has been taken place up to say for example 1 ml only we will consider, here how much up to 50 ml and the difference between 50 to 1 is nothing but 49, the 49 is ml is nothing but the degree of flocculation. It is nothing but the degree of the difference between the flocculation or sedimentation volume of the flocculated suspension with that of the deflocculated suspension is called as degree of flocculation. Here the degree of flocculation value will start from 1. It will start from 1. If and it is always, if it is 1, we will say the suspension is stable. The suspension is stable. If it is greater than 1, always the value, always the value of degree of flocculation is greater than 1. Whereas the sedimentation volume uh, value will be from 0 to 1. It is 0 to 1. It have a range from 0 to 1. But in the degree of flocculation, the value doesn't start from the 0. It doesn't start from the 0. It starts from the 1 only. And always the value of degree of flocculation is greater than 1. Why? Because I have taken beta that is degree of flocculation is, is equal to what? Ultimate volume of sedimentation of flocculated suspension divided by deflocculated suspension. Here the flocculated suspension will have always higher degree of sediment volume compared to the deflocculated suspension which will have lesser value. So always the numerator value will be higher. So because of this reason it will have the value greater than 1. So, one more thing you have to consider here we are not preparing two different suspension and we are not calculating the degree of flocculation. That is first we will prepare flocculated, then one more we will prepare deflocculated, it is not that.
we are preparing only one suspension that is flocculated suspension first we are calculating the sediment volume of flocculating suspension then we are destructing the flocculating suspension by the addition of structured vehicle to deflocculated suspension and the ratio of sediment volume of flocculated suspension to that of the deflocculated suspension we are calculating so this is about the degree of flocculation now the third parameter is redispersibility the third parameter is redispersibility at the beginning of this video i have told you people that the physical stability definition has been reconstructed by saying that if the sedimentation takes place the it should be in such a way that with the little agitation or with it with a little stress it has to redisperse very easily so for that reason we are calculating the redispersibility of the suspension if the particles has been settled down how much time it will how much time and the force it will take to get again redisperse here we are using a measuring cylinder a mechanical shaker we will say here we are using a mechanical shaker i will just roughly plot a graph sorry plot a figure it will have a 100 ml of cylinder with a volume stand 20 like this up to 100 ml and it will have a cap also what we will do we will prepare the suspension and we will fill the suspension into the cylinder and we will close this we will close with the cap this has been attached to a stand with a arm with a arm and this measuring cylinder we will rotate we will rotate to 360 degree angle we will rotate fully we will rotate this is nothing but 360 degree angle this we will rotate to 360 degree angle at the speed of 20 rpm at the speed of 20 rpm means 20 rotation per minute and the end point we will see the complete dispersion of the suspension complete dispersion of the suspension from the bottom the suspension has to reach this first the settling of the particles will take place at the bottom only so till the suspension the solid particles has been redispersed from the bottom we will take lesser the time lesser the force greater will be the stability lesser the force that is rotation per minute and lesser the time if one suspension has taken 5 minutes to redisperse and another suspension has taken 2 minutes to redisperse then we will say the suspension which has taken 2 minutes to get redisperse are the best suspension compared to the suspension which we have taken 5 minutes because it has taken more minute to get redisperse so this is about the parameters of sedimentation this is usually uh, in exam they will ask for five marks what are the parameters are physical stability of suspension first we have to discuss the degree sorry sediment volume f is equals to vu divided by v not or f is equals to hu divided by h not and then the degree of flocculation that is beta is equals to degree of sediment volume of flocculated suspension to that of the sediment volume of deflocculated suspension and the third one is redispersibility in first we will say that is in sediment volume the value will be 0 to 1 near to 1 greater will be the stability whereas in the degree of flocculation we will say greater the value from 1 higher will be the stability and in redispersibility we will say lesser the time to get redisperse greater will be the stability of suspension so this is about the physical stability of suspension hope you have understood thank you